Howdy everyone, it's the Lost Casual Warcraft. Um, just sitting around, I was going to start running some dungeons on my uh, my low level uh, warrior tank. Well, not really low level, he's 45 warrior tank. And uh, I got to thinking about it, and man, it's been a long time since I ran most of these like mid 40s and 50s level dungeons up to Outlands. So I really wanted to take a minute and go back, you know, with a high level tune and just run through them real quick and get a general idea of what their layout was and how they were done. And I got to thinking about it, and I said, you know, well, I might as well, uh, might as well fraps a couple of these, and uh, you know, throw them up on the uh, YouTube channel, and you know, give at least uh, new players a little bit of a guide through these things, since you know, I did start this channel to help out new players and stuff. So, anyways, uh, we're here now. We're in, uh, we're in RFD, uh, Razor Fen Downs. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick run through. I just, just cleared it once and went out and reset the instance, just so I knew what I was doing. I didn't look like a complete moron. But uh, this is where you zone in. This is the entrance to the dungeon, whether you run in or whether you, uh, whether you do it with the uh, random dungeon finder. You pick up your quests Hello. here. You got three of them. You got to kill the cold bringer. Uh, kill glutton. Uh, Mord fresh fire eye and Tutan Kesh. And cure the scourge. Collect twenty withered tusks. Those are your three quests. Now you come back over here. You can, you notice, you can go that way. This is the actual. This is probably the best path to go right here. Um, like I said, a lot of this is going to be quick clear. I'm just going to pull some big mobs and uh, kill them down real quick. But uh, just give you a guide through. Some of these pulls on a lower level team can be a little tricky. Um, you're definitely not going to want to pull them the way I'm pulling them right here, just because that, that would end up bad. You can wipe a few times. These guys do tend to run away. This guy back here. I was weird I couldn't death grip him. But anyways, I'm not gonna loot anything because I obviously don't need to loot. This is uh, my 85 main. These guys here, these are uh, wandering mobs. They uh, they wander all throughout it, even after you've cleared it and you're running back to the beginning. They still wander around, so you know just keep that in mind. Careful of it. This idol here, you're going to want to keep an eye on. Remember, because uh, you do have to come back to it for another quest. But that's a pickup quest that comes a little bit later. Kind of a pain in the neck running back, so you don't have to do it. I don't believe, but it is kind of nice. You know, just you know, get it done. You know, get a little extra experience because you're not running these, you know. Or anything other than experience and gear, obviously, so might as well get all the experience you can. Try to pull small when you come in here. Um, level appropriate. You know, pull the mobs as they come. Don't, you know, try to run ahead and pull too big. Some of them, like this one here, you kind of have to pull a little big. You know, four, four mobs, four trash, it's not too bad, but, you know, still better safe than sorry on the lower levels because you know if your healer is not that great you know it, it's just best you may not have the best dps at this level just because people don't really care at the lower levels this spot here um it's really two ways to do it you can run in and clear this here which you're probably going to want to do because on a low level you're probably going to aggro these guys as soon as you run in here and then there's these guys over here. I'll clear all of this first. So we're just going to run up here. We're just going to grab him. Bring him down here. Obviously, again, we don't know you wouldn't do it this way, but for you know, time constraints and whatnot, we're just going to just do a quick run. Alright, now once you've got all the trash here cleared, you come back up here. And there's the gong. You ring the gong once. First set of trash comes in. Just pick them up. More of them are there. It's not a lot of trash. It's not real difficult, but you know, there's still enough of it to make it a somewhat challenging fight. It's usually best, uh, since your healer's going to be hanging back anyways, have your healer hang back here and hit the gong when everybody's ready. That way you don't have to keep running back and doing it. Next trash pack comes in from in front and behind. That's the end of the 
second trash bag. Bring your third one. Bring your dong again. And third one is just this guy, Tutankash. Who, if you remember, is one of the quests. Yeah, he didn't like that crit. Doesn't really drive anything too impressive. Um, the Silken Spider Grape, I think I was a Spider Cave, I think I was dropped twice in a, the last time I was through here, I dropped off into a decent piece of level, like level appropriate gear for, uh, like, a rest, uh, yeah, resto chamois, or an elemental chamois, um, or even some healers, they don't have decent cloth, I would, might probably like that. Um, most of your caster classes, really, and a lot of the gear in here is geared towards caster classes. Okay, here we go up this side here. Make your first trash back here. Oh, they didn't. Tough little guys. Huh. Ignore the bridge for the moment and take out this trash pack right here. That's better. Now, if you come up here, leave it. One of these three. I was not at that one because there's nobody in it, so it must be this one here. Talk to this guy. You need something? He actually cooks, and he's an alchemist, supposedly, from Stormwind. I already picked it up. I don't I think it was last time I went through here, actually. Uh, if you talk to this guy, you can pick up a recipe for uh, tea, I believe, you can make from him. See you later. Uh, just a little nice little recipe for cooking. It's not even a recipe you pick up, he just teaches it to you. Uh, this guy here, we have to, I believe it's this guy. No, nope, it's not this guy. It's the next guy. Isn't it? Oh, I already did the quest. I don't know if I can do it again. Actually, it is this guy here. No, I can't do it again. Really? You're kidding me. Well, anyways, if you talk to that guy, he gives you a quest... Or you have to go back and he deactivates the uh, the idol, the one I told you to pay attention to the, the first time. You go back there and fight that. I really don't know why I can't do it. That's kind of maddening. Um, you go back there and what that does, it's a three or four minute long fight. And every 30 seconds it spawns a trash pack until at the last one um, a boss comes out. You fight the boss and that's another one of the quests you have to take care of. So that would have been that. Kind of pain that I can't show that to you. Watch out for chests. Like in all the classic dungeons, they're scattered around here and there. Then we come over here. And over here we've got Mordesh Fire Eye. Mord Mordresh Fire Eye. We will um, spread across watch the skeletons. They're not real tough. You know, 400 something health. You can kill them off pretty quick. I'm just going to death grip this guy down here. And he drops Dreaming Sash, which I believe he also dropped last time. So, another another caster item. Uh, and then we can come down here. You can follow the path down if you want, but you really don't have to. You can just come over to this edge here, jump off, right into your first mob here. Those guys out. And then there's kind of a long walk of trash here. It's not, you know, any huge amount of it, but it is here and there. Do, do. Yeah, I kind of, I do like to do this once in a while. Just go back through and rerun some old dungeons, just because, you know. You forget. You haven't been through them in a while. And little things change. Blizz likes to go through once in a while and mix things up. So, but this is kind of a long walk here, so I'm just going to uh, grab up a bunch of these guys and go. Save uh, save your time and mine. Basically what this does is this spirals up around to the top where the last boss is. So you're going to want to fight your way through here. Um, tanks, keep a, keep an eye on your healer's mana through here, you know, make sure you actually have some. This guy, this guy right here is actually a boss, too. 
Glutton. Uh, he's not a quest boss or anything that I know of. Oh, yeah, he is. He's part of the quest. So you want to take him out. Uh, he's not that difficult. Uh, there is a lot of slow effects here from the casters. But the casters die quickly. Again, just keep an eye on your uh, your casters and your healer's mana. And after you've killed Glutton, then it's another straight run, I believe, right to the end, if I'm not mistaken, which I could be. I have been already before tonight. Do -do -do. And do be careful, because you will pull enemies from higher up, higher levels, if you're not careful with your AoEs and such best, I think, to stick to the outside when you're running around and try to pull the trash bags to the outside as well. Just so you don't aggro anything from up the and have it come in in the middle of another pull and get all sorts of messed up and have a really bad day. You know, and you know how it is running randoms, you know, oh my god, the tank screwed up, this tank is horrible, blah blah blah, blah. Yeah, you know how it is. So, pull all these guys, and don't pull them all, obviously, pull them one pack at a time. Let's kick those off. They're a little bit maddening at the moment. Oh my god, they've taken 3% of my health. Let's get close. Oh, we're getting close. That's the end boss up there. Alright, they slowed me. We'll get this trash back here. We'll call it a, we'll call it a, we'll call it a section. see those guys down there I do believe they're running around looking for me <laughs> not gonna find me down there hey I missed one down there but anyways you know once you fought your way through all these trash bags then you're pretty much at the end you can come up here and pull these guys here pull them right over here fight them right on the edge they don't have a knockback that I know of I haven't seen one I don't ever remember there being one but it's just best that way you don't accidentally aggro the boss, you know? Just saves everybody a headache. Then this is the last boss. Amnemnar the Coldbringer. Amnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnemnem
sometimes they just get on your nerves. And this is the last trash bag right here, so fight them here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And you come down here. Gorostraza. Hello. Although why she didn't stay up there so you could turn in the quests, I'll never understand. It would make it a lot easier. Turn in all your quests, use your quest rewards. You know, agility gear, there is a little bit. I saw something else drop earlier that was agility. I didn't pick any of it up because I obviously don't need it. But uh, there is a little bit of agility gear that drops in here. You know, right now I'm just going by what sells for the most, so I'll be taking that mail chest piece. But there's a lot of decent gear in here, you know, um, for level appropriate stuff. I mean, this is definitely great uh, chamois gear, stamina intellect. You're over level 40 at this point, so it's not going to be paladin gear, but, you know, it's pretty decent. So, you know, take care of your guys and uh, watch your heals and your health and or your heals mana, and you should be all right. The only reason I'm doing this is because I actually am working. Oh, I didn't grab the tusks. I suppose I should have looted all that. But I actually am working towards the lore master title. I don't know if this counts for it or not, but we're going to assume it does. And, uh... Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, that's Razor Fen Downs in a nutshell. Um, yeah, hope it was helpful to at least somebody. Um, and I'll be putting up a few more of these. I got uh, at least four more on my list. I got to do, uh, uh, let's see, one of the Dire Malls, uh, the Gordok Commons one, Strat's Main Gate, um, Zulfarak, and Strat Strat uh, Stratholm Service Entrance. So... You know, I'll run through those. I'll probably do uh, probably do a video for each of those two just for shits and giggles. And, uh, yeah, we'll throw them up and hopefully it helps somebody out. All right, guys. Uh, have a good one.